Dignity is for simps and, and, and uh, vol cells. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the Very Reasonable Pilots Podcast. Uh, I'm your co-host, Jake, and your host over there is Charles, who has no dignity. Mm -hmm. uh, Charlie, what are we doing today? Uh, I think we're going to be talking about a TV show. Isn't that correct? Yeah, that, that is what we're doing, actually. Great. We're talking about my TV show, oh, actually. Oh, what? Your yeah, TV so show? Yeah, so I don't know why I asked you what we're doing. Me neither. I know what we're doing. Yeah. Um, we're talking about my dystopian office show. So, like, you know, you know The Office, right? No. With, uh... Explain it to me. With Jim Halpert and Pam Beasley. I've never watched Great an characters. episode of The Office. Um, I've, I, know about, I know what The Office is, but I've never watched an episode of The Office. You've never watched an episode of The Office? No. It's weird. It's like a cultural, uh, significant piece of... For our generation, it's a culturally film. significant I don't know, it was television film. show. Yeah, it's very important. It's, it sort of was groundbreaking, I guess, in a way. With all those... sitcom -y sexist shitty jokes. shows. Uh... Sexist joke? Oh uh, yeah, no All that those show. Sexist joke. Well, see, it was it was like that. Michael was awful. Yeah, I know, I know, I get it. I don't hold any of that against the show. I hold all of the Office stands against the show. I I really hate people that love I, The Office. Yeah, stands. they're the worst kind of people. People that just watch The Office over and over and over again, and all they do is make Office jokes all yeah, the time. They should be lined up and shot. Yeah, and they would be in my new Office show. <laughs> Good because segue. it's dystopian office show, mm -hmm. um, based in uh, like sort of a 1984-esque universe. 1984, you know? like the year, like the, uh, the book. And oh. I think it was also a film. Explain to our listeners who may not have read the book or seen the film of John Hurt. I didn't see the film, but um, I read the book. Mm -hmm. And in 1984, it's a very totalitarian world. Um, you. The main character, is, his name is Winston, he works in like a, the ministry, which is like a government building, and his job is to like replace uh, old history with the, like rewrite history so that it fits what the party's goal is. So it's like, you know, like a very authoritarian world, the government controls all your life, you're part of the party, party is everything. Yeah. Stuff it's... like that, you know, they're always watching you. Yeah, very distant from what we live now, like what kind of life we lead now, you know? Very, very distant. I feel like you're being sarcastic, mm -hmm. but I reread this book recently, mm -hmm. and it's nothing like what we got now. So. I know it's more horrifying. But I was thinking, I was thinking though, if I was a uh, a dictator, mm -hmm. right? The internet is awesome for uh, being a dictator. Yeah, probably it makes it so up. easy mm -hmm. on so many levels. Well, like we, first off, you got phones, right? You yeah. can track where everyone is all the time and listen to everything they're saying. Yes. Yeah. Then you can then you have the internet, which you can set up like algorithms to just search through and like find all the bad stuff, and you can get rid of it if you want. That's basically what China does with their sensors, right? Yeah. Like it, I just should be I, a dictator. Well, I think it's, it's okay. No one ever vote for Jake Cloth for any <laughs> sort of office whatsoever. If Jake Cloth is running to be the head of your PTA meet, meeting crew, don't elect him. Then with the virus, right? I saw V for Vendetta. Uh -huh. Why is no one doing what they did? You know, you gotta use the virus to your advantage to increase security measures that's... and shut off your country well, that's and, what... like, you know, you gotta, you gotta back the virus. You can't be, like, saying the virus isn't true. I think that's what you're trying to say is totalitarian. You gotta be like, virus 100%, not... huge problem. We need to have everyone stuck at homes. You need to install these apps on your phone so we can track you yeah. for contact tracing reasons. Yeah. Well, that's why I think a lot of your your uh, people who love the big wet president who's in the White House right now are like doing and saying. I think you just became an anti-masker. No, no, no. My point is you should get people to wear the mask, and then you should put something in the mask that like drugs them to make them like you more or something. Like you need to go full on. Yeah, I mean that's dictator. what I would do, but because it's a way to it's it's a it's a great way. There's opportunity here to suppress people. And I feel like we're not taking advantage of it like we should. We are not. I'm not a part of this. Well, you can be like my underboss. You want to be my underboss? No, I don't want to be any part of your drugging people with masks. The problem is, like is that like I, I, I've I've got all these ideas, and I'm sure other people have had too uh -huh. to like be a great dictator. Mm -hmm. But I don't see the the appeal to being a dictator. Like, what would I do with all that power? Uh, you can anything, literally anything. But there's nothing I want to do with that. Uh, fly a boat into a shark but see i wouldn't want to make like life good for other people but i wouldn't be able like but my whole jake law but i would I have to be like i want no i want to, i would want to make life good for other people uh -huh. but i would be 
in charge in a system where it works based off of me being bad to other people. Yeah. So, there's no real appeal to that. See, you just gotta, if you're a dictator, you just gotta embrace the carnal pleasures until, you know, your time comes. Because dictators, for the most part, don't live full and happy lives. A dictator is a high risk, high reward uh, job. Mm -hmm. So I, I would just find weird stuff to do, like fun weird stuff to do. Like I'm going to see what happens when I shoot this horse at that shark or whatever. You know? I guess. You just gotta, know. you just gotta make, you just gotta have fun with the time you have left. Because if you're, if you're dis. If you're kicked out of being a dictator, you're gonna be an internationally wanted like fugitive for all of. Oh the... no, I would go down like Scarface. I know. You I would <laughs> be running out with a grenade launcher. I know. I I would be, and I'm seeking out the back. Yeah. I'm a. For oh, what? you'd be like my like the the other guy like my, you know, the underling that they're hunting I'm later on, girls. and then you would later show up with your own dictatorship over the country. And retake it. Yeah. And then the U.S. would hate you for like a number of years, and then you might have a crew Cuban missile crisis situation. That's fine. So my show, right, mm -hmm. is based in sort of like uh, you know that same sort of time period as 1984. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like technology isn't super advanced like it is now. We don't have like cell phones and stuff. It's sort of like Cold War era. You know what I mean? So we got landlines. It's very like uh, you know pre-internet era you got me and so we're, we're in like an office workspace in a place called uh what do i have here the department of behavior oh okay. that's a nice name department of what's behavior what's the if if you don't mind my asking what's the country we're the country in? yeah we're in um i haven't it's just gonna be like a made-up name because we're never going to talk about Can we... it's all just made-up names <laughs> that's what i was could it be like Kudlakistan? Kudlakistan? Yeah. Sure. Or, Us in Kudlakistan. Or maybe, maybe we should put a make it a funny name, like Couchistan. Like the United States of America. The United States of Soviet satellite nations. The United States of Soviet satellite nations. Maybe, maybe we should make it a really long acronym like the USSR, but like yeah. add a bunch of extra letters. USSSR. USS. USS. UK, USA, SSR. Okay. <laughs> you you put US. And oh, I put the US. You put the US UK, and then UK USSR. and then USA and then USSR. Yeah. I start. It's US. Yeah, I thought USA you UK SSR. Okay, SSR. Okay. It should just be SR because there's only two S's in it. USSR, but it's all right. Um. So, in, in that really long acronym, yeah. um, that they're going to, I guess there'll be a running joke, is that acronym. They keep adding letters on for every nation that gets, like, conquered and put into their mass. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, we're running, we're running a little office space in the Department of Behavior, mm -hmm. and they're in charge of uh, complaints, okay? So, that's their, their office. Mm -hmm. And what that means is that, like, someone has a job and they get, like, a report, which is a complaint from someone. And they mark it for a specific thing, like, oh, like, you know... Assassinate this person. Send a firing squad to the person they're complaining about against. Assassinate the person that made the complaint. Yeah. Give money. Like, all these drastically different options that one person makes a decision with, with, like, a, with, like, a marker. They just, like, you know, mm -hmm. check a little box and that's what's going to happen. Yeah. And then it goes off to the next person in the office and they have to decide, like... Like the more more details about what's being done, mm -hmm. and it like sort of goes on yeah. down the chain. And um, but the, none of these people actually are going to be the people that go out and kill these people. They're yeah, all like obviously. disconnected in the Department of well, Behavior. They just mark pieces of paper. That's it. Yeah, you have to get the people ordering the killing to be, you know, distant from the actual killing, because to then yeah. they, it desensitizes to where killing someone's just exactly. Like That's the box. point, Charlie. Blow their fucking brains out with a. That, that's how I want to die. I want to take the. You know that thing they use to kill cows? Yeah, from. That uh, air gun from old, uh, uh, No Country no for Country Old Men. There you go. I was thinking the exact same thing yeah. as soon as you started before you said it. And, uh, it and, um, but it's also an it. Right? It's an it, too? Yeah. I didn't see it. Like the. the What's his name? I forget the kid. The black kid. His, I, I didn't see it. He's so. like a. Sh his dad's a sheep farmer, and there's a scene where he's like, take. You, you either do the killing or you get killed. Killed. 
Kilt. And then gives him a kilt. Well, a lot of people get kilt in this show, Charlie. Oh. So you got, like, you know, the cast, mm -hmm. okay? Which is the office space. Similar to the office where you've got all those these fun, relatable characters. Office space is also a movie. You know that, right? Okay, similar to the office, the okay. TV show. Uh -huh. You got all these characters. Um, the difference is, is that over the season, mm -hmm. there's a competition called, like, um, I think it's Competitive Workplace, I'm going to name it. And everyone has to compete in this competition to see who can work best and gets promoted. Mm -hmm. And so throughout the show, they're going to be trying to sabotage each other so that they can get promoted. And sabotaging whether it's uh, sabotaging your work or literally trying to kill you so that they can beat you in this competition. Mm -hmm. And so we'll, we'll go through our different little casts and they'll have different motives and different ideas through the show to sort of uh, get rid of other people and reach the top. And the last episode is going to be everyone's either gone or dead. And all we're left is with one character mm -hmm. uh, who is going to be named Eric Blair. Eric Blair is the actual name for George Orwell because I'm creative. Um, it's his real name. And uh, he's going to be the person that wins. And he is going to win because he's the only one that didn't try to win. He's going to be like, he's going to be the person that's like, I don't really want to get promoted. Like, you can just, you can cheat off my work if you want. Like, yeah. it's fine. I don't want to win. And everyone else just sabotages each other. We're gonna have like a Marjorie-like character, and mm -hmm. she's gonna be like seducing Marjorie people. Marjorie Tyrell. Marjorie Tyrell from, from Game, Game of, of Thrones. Thrones. Yeah, I probably should explain that. Yeah. Um, she's gonna be like trying to play the lust angle, where she's oh. gonna seduce people to get them on their team and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and sort of try to like get people behind her because they love her. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have someone that like like this this a girl that's really smart. I imagine her kind of like Velma from Scooby Doo. Mm -hmm. She's really smart, working really hard. Uh, and she's using like computer hacking and tactics. Yeah, and there's she's no like computers to hack because there's no computers. Well, I mean, they're sort of computers. It's but like they're, not they're like, the size you know, of a fucking room. Like, they're very mechanical yeah. computers. She's using you know espionage and and like getting dirt on people. Yeah, like an investigative journalist type. You know, taking snapping photos of them. You know, banging the the, the office dog or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So she's gonna be like that kind of brainy person. Mm -hmm. And all of them are gonna hit their downfall because of these uh, different things. They're different uh, sort of sins, I guess, is the okay. word I'm going to go with, because it's like, I was my plan was to give a person for each seven of the seven deadly sins. Oh, okay, that's so, we've got... Except, and Eric Blair would be Sloth, and he's going to be like, Sloth is going to win. <laughs> Tony Blair, Eric, Eric Blair, Blair. Tony, his name should be Eric Thatcher. But Eric Blair is George Orwell. I know, so it's a, Eric, we keep Eric... And you, and you change the last name to Thatcher because Margaret Thatcher, and it's the same thing. Why Margaret Thatcher, though? Because Margaret Thatcher was, in many uh, British people's eyes, the beginning of the George Orwellian state being instituted, instituted by the British government, which now has, like, I think 25% of the world's surveillance. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Um, it has, like, a tiny amount that name. of population in... Maybe I'll name someone else with Thatcher as their last name. Yeah. Because I like Eric Blair. I don't okay. know. I Eric liked it. Blair. It's very, it's very like... Uh, Tony Blair. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Third very way. Tony Blair. And we'll name the other ones Rudy Giuliani. Yeah. <laughs> and... I watched a documentary that he was in the other day. A Not related to like anything about 9-11 or mm -hmm. with Trump. It was just about um, like the mob. <laughs> and he was the... He was one of the... He was like the uh, head attorney mm -hmm. in the office or whatever uh -huh. when they were taking down the mob. It's a it's a documentary all about how 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 to make your mouth as open and wide as possible. Yeah, that was actually really Giuliano, Giuliano. He's really good at that. Have you seen that man with his mouth wide open? No. He could, looks yes. like he could yeah, swallow yeah, actually... like an entire baby's head or something. That's kind of weird, Charlie. I'll be honest. What Rudy Giuliani's giant mouth? Yeah, it is talking weird. about it. It's kind of strange bringing it up. Yeah. I feel like you've talked you've thought about this a lot. No. I don't think about things very often. That's okay. <laughs> Most of my time is spent just staring at a wall. Just staring at a wall. Occasionally, I'll take one of those pipe cleaners and gently rub it up against the wall. Okay. Until I'm satisfied, and then I stop. Well, my so idea back for to your the progression show. of the show is that if we do get another season, right mm -hmm. after that, we get to Eric Blair in the next floor. That's the thing he like moves up in the building. Oh. So he's, he's going up in the building every every season. But it might not be him, because maybe next season, somebody else wins. Somebody besides Eric. Eric dies for some reason. Somebody slits Eric's throat. I don't know if that would... And takes his name. Yeah. 
and they they just say they're Eric now. Yeah. We should, it's kind of like oh, Doctor Who. Oh, that would be fun if we it's just killed Doctor. Eric off screen and replaced him with another actor and never said anything. Yeah. But in universe, he did look different. Like in universe, people are like, "Don't you, you look different than I remember?" No, nope, I'm Eric. Yep. No, I'm Eric. Eric, Blair. Eric here's my, here's right my here. thing. Maybe it's like part of like this sort of universe where. Um, in 1984, there's a concept that's called double think, and it's like about how you have to like forget the old truth and sort of mm-hmm. remember the new truth the government's putting in front of you. Yeah. Maybe the government replaced Eric Blair with another person. Yeah. I know everyone else in the office has to accept that this is the new Eric Blair, and everyone has to be like, no, it was never different. He was always the same. This is always always what Eric Blair looked like. This is always how he acted. So we have exactly the same. two girls, two ladies, and Eric Blair. Who else is in the office? Well, those two ladies are going to die slash quit for numbers reasons. Yeah. But, um, like, I'm talking about the first season. Who's Who else is in the office besides those two ladies? Well, we got to, you know, we got to run down the seven deadly sins. Yeah. I don't know what the smart person was because I didn't think about it. Maybe she's yeah. pride. Oh, uh, yeah, she could be pride and then... The other one's lust. Lust. We, we got do... uh, gluttony. So we got we got to have a fat dude um, who's, like, very... Uh, maybe he's not overly obsessed with the promotion, mm-hmm. but he's more obsessed with like material, yeah, food. Like, not I don't want to go goods because that's greed, but he's just like, just a fat guy. Just a fat and maybe guy. yeah, he's got some influence with like the mob for some reason. Oh. I'm thinking like a, an Italian sort of dude. I'm thinking like maybe he's a uh, like the son of the uh, guy who runs the place. The son of the guy. Oh, that works. And, and yeah. he's like real fat, and he's just like, I'm gonna get this promotion. Cause just I'm because like, he's the son of the yeah. guy. Okay. So he's of the like, boss. I'll just take you guys out if I want, but I don't give a shit. Um, uh, then we got we got wrath. So we're gonna have someone that's really angry, that's constantly trying uh, to kill people. I like would his think goal. He's he's the guy that wants to like he wants to kill everyone else. Yeah. That's how he's gonna win. Like retired army, or maybe he tried to get like in put the army. into special services, but like special service, and he got like sent to the uh, bureaucratic part yeah. of it. Yeah, he filled out the application wrong or something yeah. stupid like that. Or he was like, yeah, we uh, we were gonna hire you, and then we noticed you have a cleft, like, you're missing one toe on your left yeah. foot, so... Something weird. Or, like, maybe, like, a little detail of his past, because it's very, you know, it's 1984, yeah. so, like, the little thing, like, when you were six, you once picked... Uh, vanilla ice cream over chocolate and you know that chocolate ice cream is the favorite of our dear leader yeah so you're not gonna be in the army <laughs> or maybe like yeah when you were six you stole a, a handful of strawberries from a handful of strawberries store. I like I know I like that it's like a small detail about his life though. yeah um, when you were six you had a- or when you were born you had asthma but you grew out of it but still we can't yeah we can't have that in the army yeah you, your hair used to be a different color, you know, you can't really have that. It's not good. Born with blonde hair, but it grew red. There you there go. There we go. Yeah. Maybe. Um, uh, envy, so we can have someone that's constantly stealing other people's work and cheating mm, in different I, ways. Maybe, maybe that could be the um, uh, espionage. Envy? Yeah. As opposed to like uh, pride? Ch- yeah. Okay. I'm thinking we should have one guy who's just... So maybe the, girl, the, the smart girl's envy. Yeah. Instead. And pride could be someone that's um, works like really hard, and but sort of has also had like they're very smart, but they've had everything handed to them in their yeah. life. Maybe they're and they're like very sure that they're going to get the promotion the entire time, and they make it all the way to the end with Eric Blair, mm-hmm. and they think that they're going to get the promotion because they've got all this pride, and then they don't get it because Eric Blair, it's... I don't know, did work better than them or something when he was just keeping his head down. Yeah, or um, maybe we could go. Uh... I'm, I'm, I'm engaging your office fan. We could go Ryan. What's the... H- Howerton? Yeah, Ryan he, from the office. Yeah, I gotcha. He, temp. like, we start out, he's the... He takes his job in, intensely seriously. Yeah. He's really proud of himself. He always, like, dresses up, but he's the lowest rung yeah. in the office. And he's just, like, constantly trying to fuck over these people, but he's pretty stupid. So he, he messes up constantly. Okay, He's yeah. like, I am... I'm gonna win, because I'm the best. And I take the most pride in my work and the most pride in my appearance, and I'm better. I'm a better motivated person than you. And, I'm, and then he gets hit by a bus. You know? Hit by a bus. He gets so con- caught up in, uh, like he's yelling at Eric in the street. And he gets so caught up in telling Eric how much better he is than him. He gets hit by a bus. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that works. He, yeah. Like he dies by accident. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then what are the other ones? We, we got greed left. Greed's the last one. 
So greed, um... Greed, maybe we get like a... He's like a drug addict. A drug addict? Yeah. Drug addict, like he does coke. Okay, you know, so we got like a, coke a druggie is a, who's... He's a, it's a very expensive drug. Yeah. So he's like a... He's like gambling. Yeah. Constantly borrowing money from people. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, trying to... And he's like fucking people over all the time trying to get this promotion. I'm, I'm just imagining one scene, like one episode... He like gets a whole bunch of amphetamines yeah. and puts them in a bowl in the middle of the office, and it's like free mints for everyone. Yeah, and then everyone takes them, drugs. and then it's like just like yeah. what the fuck, you know? That, mm -hmm. like, that's just what's in my head. So the first episode, I want to have someone taken out back and shot. That's like the very first episode mm -hmm. to set the tone for the series. One of these characters is gonna commit some sort of small, minuscule error, and they're gonna be like people are gonna walk in, take them out back, and shoot them. Like, outside the window in front of everyone so yeah. everyone gets to it. I'm, I'm thinking maybe, like, cold open, you have someone walk in. And they're like, this is the Department of Complaints, right? Or what, yeah. the Department of Behavior? Yeah, Department of Behavior. And it's where people complaints, send complaints. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, I have a complaint I'd like to file with blah, 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 blah. And uh, the secretary, who is the smart chick or something, yeah. uh, puts a button and it's like, oh, yes, he'll be right with you. Bam. We have a complaint for... Bam, 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 and just like two heavily armed guards come in and take this person. They're like, wait, put, no, 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 I just wanted to. And they take them to the back and they take them like outside. And you see like them walking through the window and yeah. then take a turn and then take like down to the back of a field. And you just hear, bang! You, and then, maybe like office style, like you've got like the camera like looking out the window, like you've got people like peering out. Mm -hmm. And then you see them kneel down the ground and then the camera like pans away and then you hear the gunshot. Like, yeah. And then like they just take a second. Everybody looks at each other, and they look at the temp, and they're like, Hey, Ryan, your guest coffee. <laughs> and then the, the title shows up. Da, 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 yeah. da, 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 da. We just use the theme office theme song as well. Just steal it Can you get us some coffee? <laughs> yeah. That's when it starts, yeah. And But it's like Soviet. I don't know. Does, Soviet, does uh, Russia have any particular instruments it uses? Um... We go for like a, a like a Soviet national anthem style, but it's. A, oh yeah, no, it should be like a national anthem. Like I want to hear like lots of like trumpets. But a little more cheery, but also very much like a military tune yeah. as well. Like kind of like the Imperial March from Star Wars, mm -hmm. but a little like different. I'm know. thinking maybe maybe you put it like with the, they perform it, but with like a really. Like one instrument, and it's just like this shitty brass trumpet. Yeah. Like. We got nice, like, a uh, nice little montage of like footage of like created, the city and the office. Created by Jake Gloth and Charles Long. Yeah. Your just, name goes first for everything I, you create, and my name goes first for everything I create. That works. Yeah. Or my name always goes first because I've been a quarter. No. Okay. Charles goes before Jake. I was going last names. No one goes for first names, alphabetic order. That's not how it works. I don't care. Okay, well, good for you. Lung is not a name. Yeah. It's a body part. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what'd you think? I like it. I like it. It sounds cool. I think it'd be a fun little show. Yeah, it'd be nice. I think uh, you could go for a lot of office, like, shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Maybe we have, like, the pranks that so Jim and Dwight had. Yeah. But they're not, like pranks as in you know Deadly. light things yeah they're trying to kill each other yeah and it's like oh who put a bear trap in <laughs> on my chair yeah it's like somebody hid arsenic in my sandwich who set up a gun in my desk drawer <laughs> yeah there's all sorts of things yeah all these little ways to murder each other yeah great yeah, okay good. i mean that's all i had charlie um, um you want to send us out or you right. got something more to say to me uh, i don't really have anything else to say uh, but uh, thank you everyone for listening to the Very Reasonable Pilots podcast. I have, as always, been your host, Charles Lung, and with me, as always, has been my co-host, Jake Cloth. Just pat my arm. Mm -hmm. I That's did. Weird. Uh, you can find us at YouTube touchy. at Very Reasonable Pilots podcast. Is it Very Reasonable Pilots podcast or just Very Reasonable Pilots? I think it's Very Reasonable Pilots. Okay, Very it Reasonable might be podcast. I don't know what our own podcast is. Oh my god, stuff. Very Reasonable Pilot VRP on YouTube. Uh, you can find us Spotify, pretty much anywhere you listen to podcasts, you can find us. We're both on Twitter. Yes. Uh, well, at VRP Podcast on Twitter. Oh, at VRP 
Podcast on Twitter. Also, you can find both of us at twitter.com as well as Instagram and other things. That, all those links will be in the description. And thank you again for listening. It might not all be in the description. because Some of them will that. be in the description, probably. Hopefully. Well, you see that in YouTube videos all the time. People are like, yeah, link's in the description. You go down and they're not there, it's yeah. just fucking not there. Especially with something important, too. Yeah. Like, you're watching an instructional video. Yeah, or it's like, oh, uh, we're going to be talking about all these video games, and links to their Steam pages will be in the s- description. description. And it's like, and fucking then you find nope. That it's, n- it's not in the description. And the game doesn't exist anymore. They canceled yeah. it. It's gone and forever. You, and you have to scrub, th- or you have to scrub through the video to find the fucking game they were talking about that you're interested in. Yeah. And then, First ten minutes are yeah. all intro as well. Yeah. Ugh. What a great world we live in. Love it. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.